Naomi Bowman Anderson was born in Michigan City in 1843 to free African-American parents. This was just seven years after the city was incorporated, so they were here right at the beginning. Naomi was not allowed to attend the schools in Michigan City at first because the schools in Indiana were segregated, but after they noticed her writing ability, they actually invited her to enroll. We know that she lived here until she was 20 years old in 1863, and then in 1868, she and her family moved to Chicago. She was invited to speak at the first women's rights convention that was held in Chicago. That was in 1869, and she gave a very fiery, controversial speech. It made it in newspapers across the country. From that point on, she was a public figure. In 1896, she worked side by side with Susan B. Anthony, campaigning for the proposition in California to give women the right to vote. Her family knows of absolutely no memorials or anything anywhere in the country, so this will be the only memorial for her. We have a process here in Michigan City that we're actually required to do a call for artists, and we're gonna be working very closely with the Michigan City Public Arts Committee. It could be a sculpture, a mosaic, or a mural. The artwork is gonna be located at Charles Westcott Park. He was a very significant gentleman here in Michigan City who coached basketball. He was a mentor to thousands of kids here in town. And we chose that place because it is the site of the first African-American settlement here in Michigan City, and it was called The Patch. It's an interesting area because it was a group of houses, and every time they built a new house, they put in a new alleyway to get there. So houses were numbered from 202 and a half to 202 and a fourth to two, and that was sort of how it developed. It's an absolutely perfect spot to place our tribute to Naomi Anderson. We have a lot of kids programs in town, from the Boys and Girls Club um, to the Safe Harbor After School Program. And we see being very closely involved with them. Lebesnik Center for the Arts is gonna be having a series of family and children events where they're gonna come here and actually create art with um, Hannah, their educator. With this project, we're hoping to have it to be interactive so that uh, when people come out there, the young people will be able to learn. Maybe they'll want to vote more because they know that it was a struggle, that it wasn't something that was just given and handed over to you. I contacted a librarian at Purdue Northwest in Westville, and he actually teaches an archives class, and the class coming up is going to actually work on developing the archives for this project. It's important to honor the women in Indiana who have served our communities and have been ignored and forgotten. This would bring forth someone that actually used their mind, you know, someone that actually uh, was, you know, writing and her writing brought forth a, a change. Needless to say, even fewer African Americans, male or female, are recognized and honored. For that reason, it's important to do this. Michigan City is honored to be her hometown.